been a couple days since we got one of these videos up. It's day six in the devotional series that we're going through on the U version with Alistair Begg, uh, Truth for Dark Days. So um, today, day six, what he's looking at is 1 Peter 5, um, verse 7 in particular, but the verses around it. This is um, a very dear passage for me. This is um, the church I was baptized in asked us to select a life verse as part of our uh, baptism. And this was the verse I picked. And uh, Alistair points out that the preceding verse, verse five or uh, 6, tells us to humble ourselves. And that part of this act of casting our anxieties on the Lord, that, that's the verse, cast all your anxieties on Him for He cares for you, comes from a humbling of yourself. It's a recognition of what is and is not your responsibility. And laying yourself down before the Lord, letting letting God be God. Um, and he, he speaks very well to the fact that it, it's a very, you know, almost violent, it's an act, it's an act of just casting it. And uh, the only observation I would just add is he didn't hit as much on, though I, not that I, he doesn't know it, um, the, the last part, which is for he cares for you. And this, this is the tension when you come to this one that I want you to, to see and embrace. On the one hand is a humbling yourself, and on the other hand is a God who loves you. And in the middle is this casting your anxieties. And uh, in my experience... I, I picked that verse um, for my life first because there was a song written to it on one of the, you know, uh, children's cassette tapes that I like to listen to. That was as deep as it went. But but God used it. That verse has haunted me. Um, at, at many junctures in my life where things have been hard and anxiety wants to just rise up in what God's asking me to do, seeming so impossible or so um, so scary that verse would come back to my mind and always with, with this question, do you trust me? Because the humbling of myself and saying, okay, God, I, I don't know, it's yours, take it, and I, I'm not in charge, works because I know the one I'm humbling myself to actually loves me. That's, that's the, the battle because the truth is you, you can invert that. When I am holding on to issues and allowing them to spin me up and bear me down, I just I can't let go. When, when I've got to the point where I said, why? Why can't I cast this on him? Why, why am I still clinging to this? And underneath of that, I've always found for myself, I have a tendency to not trust him. I don't want to cast my anxieties on him and say, Lord, this is up to you. I trust you because I don't know what he's going to do. And I don't know if I'm going to like what he'll do. And so when that question, do you trust me, comes, what I've always had to wrestle with is, do I trust that he cares for me? Do I trust that he's good? That what he's doing will be borne out in love? Because it feels like the picture I've got here on the screen, right? It feels like you're jumping off a cliff. And if this thing doesn't work, there is no undo button. Humbling yourself before God is entrusting yourself into the hands of God Almighty and all the mystery and wonder. And, and I can't tell you that I know what He's going to do with you, where He's going to take you. I can't tell you it won't hurt, won't be hard, because He does that stuff. I can tell you it, it will be good and that He loves you and that you can trust Him. And so... The anxiety comes because I want to figure things out, because I, I want to be God. I want to call the shots. And, and so God needs to tell me his plans, and I'll sign off on them. And the freedom comes when I humble myself and say, I don't have to know. I just trust who you are. Tell me whatever you think I need to know. And so I've actually, when I come to that place where I, I uh, can say, there are things that are not my problem, not, not my responsibility. That, that's the line I even tell myself. The anxieties start coming, the questions start running, and I'll just go, that's not my problem. And I, I mean it, even if it sounds sort of flippant. If it's on his plate, it's on his plate. I trust him, and it's not my problem. It's, it's above my pay grade. 
My job is to love and obey him, to trust him. And to just when he says, here's a cliff, jump, I just jump. And the more I walk that road, the easier the jump becomes because he has been so faithful. And even the things that seem difficult, he has redeemed. And so whatever questions linger, I trust they'll come around. Because God is, is not just all powerful and all, you know, loving. He's also all wise and eternal. And he, he brings that whole, he sees the picture bigger than my little moment. And so I don't have to have it all come together. I don't have to know how it all works. I don't even have to really know the plan. I just need to know the one into whose hands I'm trusting myself. And so uh, I don't know what your anxieties are. There's a lot going on with the economy and illnesses. This pandemic brings a lot of anxiety into our lives, a lot of change. Be faithful in what is yours, but humble yourself. Your life this season is his. He has plans, and you can trust him. And so when the anxiety comes, you need to come back and say, do I trust him? Do I believe that he cares for me? And if so, then let me humble myself before him and let him move in love in my life and take the jump. So I encourage, I, I, my prayer for you is that as you read over the devotional and, and Alistair's words, and as you pray today, that you would be encouraged in the love of God and be able to cast your anxieties on Him. God bless. We'll see you tomorrow, uh, the last day of this series, and then we'll be starting a new one. If you got suggestions or ideas, feel free to comment. And as always, if you comment and or if you like and share this, more people see it, and we'd appreciate that. God bless. Thank you.